one of the uh, places in the world that has experienced uh, the most holocaust uh, in our recent days uh, uh, has been uh, the great continent of Africa. Many country, continents, uh, countries of Africa have experienced war in various forms of holocaust that have, ident uh, that have inflicted on its people the past few decades. And many of these have been not in our news and few people know about them. And uh, this is a tragic thing that this uh, is all. Some of the countries that have experienced uh, these tremendous holocausts uh, in Africa have been Angola, Mozambique, Uganda, uh, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo, Somalia, Liberia, and Sudan. And not to mention all of the uh, terrible atrocities that have also occurred in South Africa during apartheid. A person's here who has seen the devastations of his homeland in Rwanda, Darius, well, we call him Twa, <laughs> uh, will tell briefly of the sufferings of that same of the Church of Africa that has brought many to our shores. And, uh, and the suffering, of course, continues even to today. So Darius, if you could come and share with us. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. Especially one thank you for uh, Dr. Doug Hall and the team, who have been very much instrumental in really, you know, bringing us all together to see what the Lord can do. I can assure you today that really we are in the book of Acts. The Bible says they came from all over, Mesopotamia, Pamphylia, Europe, and over. They were together in one accord. So we are together in one accord. Uh, and I will thank God what the Lord is doing in Boston. Uh, because uh, good things are really coming out. I remember when I came here about 12 years ago, it was cold as ice, but now uh, we see everybody put a smile on their face. I remember I went to Dark World and say, crying, with dear, what can I do? Uh, my people are lost, our nations are in trouble, but we have been seeing real great change over the years as time went by. Uh, many of you know that uh, uh, revival begins when uh, also begins. I can assure you that 1900 uh, revival broke away in South Africa. We call it South African revival. And uh, everybody was born again the president, the street, everybody was really uh, born again. But uh, uh, over 20 years later, genocide also came back and destroyed thousands and thousands of people. A uh, very good example in my country, uh, where I come from, uh, uh, it wasn't a long time ago, 1994, within a month, of, a of one million people died. Uh, just one group of people turning against each other. And that wasn't even the first one. There was, this was uh, like the fifth time when genocide of that nature is being committed in that country. So over the years, we have gone through dictatorship, uh, a country like Sudan. You can talk about right now, people are still in slaves. Uh, in these days we are living in. You can go to Mozambique, you can go to Angola, you can go to uh, Liberia, who's a brother here from Liberia. You see there is a lot of turmoil of war that is really have been going on up this day. But I thank God for the Africans who have come in this country. We are, we are able to cause awareness. I remember when we, the war broke up in Rwanda, nobody knew what Rwanda was on the map of the world. But I remember I was able to direct where genocide was going and where it was being committed. So, not just on the revival, not just on the planting of churches and the, the, the uh, being in this country, there is a lot we are praying together in our country. So, uh, we really thank God for that. Um, uh, now, you can see a tremendous move of God sweeping the continent of Africa. Many of you know that you know, in Africa, if you could put the map of Africa, I'm going to show you briefly, uh, how that in every African country, there is about there's about 100 to 200 tribes. Now, I want to give you a small statistic that every tribe, most of the time they are in America. They are planting churches, they are praying. So there is such a, really a move of network between Africans who are living here and are living in Africa that has, we're able to connect with the other nations around the world, especially in Boston, so that we can all of us experience what the, really the Book of Acts is talking about. Uh, so. We are really a part of what the Lord is doing, and I can tell you 
uh, Africans at large, they are praying a significant role uh, in, this, in this country, especially in the Book of Acts. Uh, you may be wondering how they end up in this country. If you read in your, if you check in your manual you have, you will see the reason why they come to this country. They come as students, they come as refugees, they come as just immigrants, as missionaries, and the, all of it has contributed so much for the, uh, for the growth of the church in Boston. We have been doing research and we found that every month a church is planted here in America uh, through the African community. You go to the southern part of the states, central part, even in England here, there is a significant role they are playing in bringing revival in this country. So we appreciate. A friend of mine said that you will never go to heaven until you go through Africa. Is there only one person I want to appreciate? Our sister Judy. Can you raise up your hand, Judy? Uh, she has been a mission in Africa. And we do appreciate all the investments you put in Africa. We are here because of the missionaries have contributed towards Africa. Africa is in a long dark continent. It is a light continent. Hallelujah.